Hello, and welcome back to the Garden of Grace Devotion. My name is Pastor Katie, and I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Lilburn, Georgia. Today, I greet you with a question. How are you with waiting? How are you with waiting? I feel sure that on more than one occasion, I have begun a garden devotion with this. Because for me, it's a theme that presents itself over and over. Waiting. Waiting. And what do I do? Wow, I wait. Right now, there are many things I'm waiting for, like summer. I do not love it when it's cold. So I'm waiting for summer. I'm waiting for different meetings to happen. I'm waiting for different milestones with my children. So often throughout our lives, we find ourselves waiting, waiting. In our passage from Isaiah for this week, we come across a people who are waiting. They are waiting in exile to return to their homeland. They don't know how long it's going to take. But in the meantime, they seem to be called to focus on God at work, even while they wait. The passage reads from Isaiah 40, verses 28 to 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. So what does that look like? What does it look like to wait upon the Lord in such a way that we're also still at work while we're waiting? This last verse, those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall. It sounds like with help from the Lord, mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So often I think we think about waiting as a passive thing. But in this instance, waiting appears to be also being present and looking for God at work in the waiting. One of the things that I'm waiting for currently is the beginning of planting season for we have our community garden beds down at Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church. And timing is important. We wouldn't want to go down there right now when it's cold because the seeds, like me, don't care for the cold, some of them, and they wouldn't do well. But we want to wait for just the right time. And so I have a packet of seeds here. These are for tomatoes. It says, delicious tomatoes. And I've got a packet of seeds, and I don't know how many are in here, but I don't know, probably 30 or so. Seeds for tomato plants. And it tells us when to plant them outdoors. And then we wait. It almost seems ludicrous for me to say that what is contained in this package could possibly produce around 100 pounds of tomatoes. Is that not silly? 
What's contained in this package? Can feed a whole bunch of people. Really? And waiting will be an important part of that. Some seeds from a different packet have already been planted indoors and the plants are growing. And we're waiting while God is at work in the soil and in the stem through the seed. And we're participating in that through watering and providing light for them to grow. Eventually when it's warm enough, they'll be planted in the ground and we'll wait again while we water and while we weed and while we fertilize, we will also wait for God will be at work. I don't know if you heard that, but it was a noisemaker from outside from the kids getting picked up for community schools. While we wait, God will be at work indeed. And no doubt through God's grace, a harvest will be produced. So it seems like there's a lot more to waiting than just passively waiting, seeing what God will do. This passage for today invites us to consider what it means to wait upon the Lord, to trust that God is the one who is the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth, to remember that God will not faint or grow weary. In the midst sometimes of our frustration or when we get tired of waiting, God is a constant at work in and through us and around us. How are you participating in different ways of living out your life of faith while you're waiting for other seasons to happen? What does it look like to be actively engaged as a child of God, even while you wait? What are some of the gifts in waiting? What are some of the things that you've waited for in the past and have received and forgotten? The process of waiting. Thanks be to God who journeys with us always. Thanks be to God who is at work in the waiting. Thanks be to God who renews us while we wait, who gives us strength and helps us not to grow weary. Thanks be to God. And may God's peace be with you today and always. Amen.